Okay, so let's try and get some video out of this thing. So I've got the schematic. I uh, probably could have zoomed in. When I did the printout. But basically, we've got this LM1889 here, and we've got some. Um, We've got the components here of the of the video signal. Uh, was it blue luma, blue chrome? Anyway, whatever comes in here, and then it comes out here. So we've got a emitter follower, which is biased with 12 volts um, on the collector. So, and then we've got composite out here, and then we've got the modulator. So yeah, baseband and then modulated here. So by 75 ohms, so impedance matched, I guess. So that's what the 12 volts is, is used for, to bias. Um, so let's have a look. So that's the modulated output. That's the composite output there. There's our transistor. And if I can do this smoothly, so I don't give anyone seasickness. There's our, look, what happened there? Okay, that was just there. Yeah, there's our LM1889. So, hopefully I can do this without, so there is some, looks like there is some corrosion around here. Um, you can't really see it like that, can you? So, hmm, don't know. Anyway, so I'll, I'll have a poke around. So first thing, obviously is to check whether this um, 12 volts in so this is the power supply here we've got 5 volts 12 volts and ground so I'm not sure what's what I'm assuming this is ground this could be the 12 volts I can never remember which leg is the collector I think maybe is that collector I don't know um, so that's probably the 75 ohms down here, off the top of my head, goes from here, down, 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 oh, what? oh okay, so there's a transistor here as well, okay, so maybe this is the transistor, oh, okay, this is the transistor then, I just noticed that one there, so off the top of my head, that could be, is it? yeah, it looks like a 75. So that comes in onto here, up to here, which is then connected somehow, I assume, to here, maybe under the board. Anyway, three minutes already, I just haven't done anything. So let's. So the first thing is like, yeah, so <laughs> this was being measured at 28 volts, well not in here, but on the power supply, 28 volts unregulated, so, which is pretty high, I don't know, that was under no load, so yeah, let's check a few things, so I just measured that again, and it's 22 volts, so that's way too high, so it must be an issue, here. I don't see any regulation in here for the 12 volts so what I'll do is I'll just make up a new power supply cable once again and use my mean well that outputs 12 volts and 5 volts so I'll make up a I'll have to convert it across so I'll make up a socket for the mean well into a plug so I've got it is a 7 pin din um, 7 pin din, but you know the, the pins are doubled up, so I don't really need to use a 7 pin din as well. I can just use a 5 pin. So I'll use a 5 Well, I could use a 7 pin if I want. No, I'll, just, I'll use a 5 pin. Um, because you can see the. Um, you can see the. Uh, we've got our 12 volts. I think that's 12 volts. Our 5 volts and our ground. So I just need, need a ground there on pin two, skip one, and then pin one, I guess. Pin one, two, 
three. That's all I need. One, two, three. Yep. Okay, let's make this cable and see if we can get it working. Okay, so I've made up the socket for the Meanwell power supply. So that will take uh, 12 volts, 5 volts and ground. Hopefully I haven't made the wires too short. I just I didn't want a long cable this time. Um, so that will then go to wherever I've put the plug. And yeah, it's as simple as that. Just something quick and simple to see if, if that's the issue with the video is that the, um, the bias voltage for the transistor is way too high. Let's see. Oh, almost too short. Should have made it a little bit longer to make it easier for me, but well, let's see. Okay, and we've got the uh, uh, didactic side done now. So let me just finish this up and see if it works. All right, we'll give it a try. Uh, goes in there. That goes in here. And, well, just in case, we'll connect up our little component cable. I uh, should also measure the voltage. Okay, turn the TV on. See if something happens. Okay, power's on. Still working. No, unfortunately no video still. And it's definitely working still, so what is going on now? So, oops. There we go. DC voltage. Guess I should hook up the oscilloscope, shouldn't I? See if there is actually. An... Yeah. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. So. Okay, so that's 14 volts now, <laughs> which is a bit better. That's 5 volts. Hmm, all right, I'm going to talk up the oscilloscope. So, yeah, reducing the voltage hasn't made any obvious difference. Um, so it's just a simple cable, ground and signal to an RCA jack, which is basically what that is there, so. All right, further investigation required. All right, so I've had a look at where the composite signal should be coming out of. Um, basically, you've got the LM1889, comes out of the LM1886, and that's generated from, looks like RGB, uh, uh, luma, 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 uh, composite and uh, sync on the PLA slash ULA. So there is absolutely nothing coming out of the 1886 or the 1889, so there's no composite signal. But checking on the ULA, there is R, G, and B, and S, I assume. So that's, yeah, that's good. So maybe I'll just bypass all of this and then just add in an RGB connector so it says here um, red is pin 11 let's see just way to do this we can see so I've got pin 9 there, that's pin 9, so that's pin 10, and I'm getting a good signal on there, pin 10, pin 10 is blue, apparently, pin 11 is red, pin 12 is green, 
Yeah, that looks good as well. And looks like 18. So what did I say that one was? That's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Nothing. Ain't nothing. That's dead. Okay. I could explain why I'm not getting any composite out. That is absolutely dead. Nothing there. Uh, what about sink on pin 43? So is that 40? 40? Which one's 41? 41, 42, 43. There's a signal there. 25, 26. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41. No. All right. So it looks like I might have to just put in an RGBS because um, I uh, show you. Re Sorry, I have to strain your neck. <clears throat> but so this is composite output. Nothing. And this is. The LM1889, no, actually we'll go back to the 1886, pin 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, nothing. Then if we go over to the ULA, where the RGBS is coming out, we've got R on pin 11, so that's 9, 10, 11. Got a nice, nice active signal there. Um... We go, is it pin 18? I'm, I might have to, it looks like 18, but um, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So if that is pin 18, if that's where the Y is coming out, there's just nothing there either coming out of the ULA. So I might have to convert this to RGBS um, plus audio. I don't know, where's the audio? All right, so that'll be... So that'll be a bit of work, I guess. Well, not, not too much, maybe. Uh, do I have to buffer it? Uh, I have seen a mod for this where they've got transistors buffering it. Where they're basically taking this, taking the modulator can out. That's going to be a bit of work. And uh, 74 LS244, I think, they have soldered in place. So what I'm going to have to do is, yeah, I'm going to have to desolder this, desolder that, and then desolder this so I can pull the board out. Um, and at the same time, I could probably what they've done, what they've done in the photo I've seen. Let's power this off. Is they've um, put in a five-pin din like these, but at an angle here. Um, and that's the RGBS out. So I might have to do that coming maybe directly off the PLA. Uh, although, yeah, it probably needs to buffer the signal though. All right, so a bit more work to be done. Um, we're getting there, we're getting there. Um, I think that'll be all for now. I'll drag it on too long.